Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Power Rangers team finishing weapons. Huh! Spiral Saber! Quadro Blaster! Let's do it! For this list, we'll be looking at the best tools the teens with attitude have used to end battles. We won't be focusing on the Zord finishers, as those are worthy of their own list. What was your favorite Ranger finishing weapons? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Fire Smasher Cannon Blast Mode. Power Ranger Samurai and Power Ranger Super Samurai. I've gotta try. Fire Smasher! Cannon Blast Mode! Jaden's Fire Smasher is an impressive weapon by itself. This oversized Zambato sword can cut through practically any nylock. Additionally, it has a little handy function that could turn it into an oversized cannon. Using the power of his and the other Ranger's power discs, Jaden takes aim and unleashes an enormous energy blast to plow right through his enemy. Jaden, that was brilliant! Thanks. Everyone okay? Yeah. Never better, bro! The type of beam he shoots varies with what auxiliary disc is powering the cannon. If the burden of handling this blaster is too much for Jaden to bear, his friends can come in and help lighten the load. Multi-disc Octo Cannon! Cannon Blast! <laughs> Number 9, Megaforce Blaster. Power Rangers Megaforce and Power Rangers Super Megaforce. Regardless of how you feel about Megaforce, there's one thing we can all agree on. They had some pretty cool toys. Their individual weapons are nicely designed and packed with power, and when they're combined, they form the Megaforce Blaster. Dynamic Victory Charge! <laughs> By utilizing the Ranger's cards, the weapon's dynamic victory charge can bowl over nearly anything in its path. If needed, this oversized firearm can also be split into two smaller weapons. Having access to the Sky and Land Sea Blasters means they have double the firepower. Sky Dynamic! Land Sea Dynamic! Sky Dynamic! Sadly, the blaster saw less use when the Super Mega Mode powers came around, but it made a much appreciated comeback in the final battle against the Armada. Now that was legendary, and we have some new friends to thank for it. Come on! Number 8, Dino Spike. Power Rangers Dino Charge and Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. Guys, let's use the Dino Spike. Kendall said we had to have all five of us together, right? I'm ready if you are. Using their respective Dino Chargers, the Rangers from this season can activate a Jurassic upgrade, the Dino Steel Mode. Along with an extra layer of armor, this mode gives them access to their own personal weapons. Each one is strong enough to take a bite out of their enemies. Naturally, said power only grows when these tools are merged into the Dino Spike. This intimidating and massive javelin is a fantastic weapon. Dino Spike! Dino Strike! Ah! Copy that! After being tossed into the air by his fellow Rangers, Tyler pole vaults the Dino Spike into his opponent for a devastating final strike. Along with being wildly effective, we give the Dino Spike extra credit for its uniqueness as a team weapon. Now that's positive energy! Awesome! Yes! Number 7, Jungle Sword, Power Rangers Wild Force. The Rangers' team weapons tend to mostly be heavy-duty blasters and cannons, but for Wild Force, the team decided to literally cut the forces of evil down to size. Now! Jungle Sword! By combining their melee weapons, the Rangers can wield an enormously powerful saber called the Jungle Sword. With his teammates by his side, Cole swings the mighty blade before delivering a fatal slice. <laughs> the average orcs definitely couldn't stand up to being cleaved like that. Later episodes saw the Rangers favoring the Jungle Blaster more. However, the sword remained an important asset. It even became the weapon that was used to finally put an end to Master Org's reign of evil. The blight of the evil Org heart will never curse the Earth again! Jungle Sword! Slash. Number 6, Storm Striker. Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Let's put them together, guys! Go! Power Rangers, go! Ninja Storm! Let's go! Storm Striker! On their very first day on the job, the three Wind Ninja Rangers busted out their own unique weapons. The power of their individual gear only grew when they were all combined into the Storm Striker. This indestructible cannon came complete with three different finishers. In red mode, it obliterated its target with a devastating fireball. Blue mode trapped monsters in a sonic energy bubble before finishing them off for good. Finally, 
Yellow Mode literally crushed its opponent by dropping a hundred ton weight on top of it. Kids, don't try this at home! Fire! The amount of variety offered made the Storm Striker an adaptable and formidable weapon. It also got stronger when combined with the Thunder Blaster. Number 5. RPM Enforcer – Power Rangers RPM Before gaining more teammates, the RPM Ranger's main team weapon was the Road Blaster. Road Blaster! Yeah. Engine cell! Activate! Target locked! Fire! When Rangers Green and Black joined the team, they got their own cannon as well, the Turbo Plasma Launcher. Both firearms pack a devastating punch on their own. After they are combined, they turn into the ultimate high-octane tool of justice, the RPM Enforcer. Powered by the Ranger's engine cells, this enormous bazooka eviscerates enemies in one explosive blast. Engine cell! Activate! Fire! The kind of blast differs depending on what engine cells are loaded into the Enforcer. However, the awesome results are always the same. How effective is the Enforcer? Well, it took out three attack bots in its debut episode without any problems. No, 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 the truth! We'll see about that. Number 4, Vortex Blaster, Power Rangers Time Force. Usually, a Ranger's firearms are at least compact and easy to carry, but the Time Force Ranger's vector weapons are enormous. They're too big to hold with just one hand. Luckily, their sheer power more than makes up for that design shortfall. If you think they're big at first, wait until you see them combined into the Vortex Blaster. Ready, Lucas? Let's do it! This bombastic bazooka that can only be handled by the entire team working together. Its energy blasts are so strong that the Rangers really need to stand their ground to keep themselves stable after every use. Locked on! Fire! <laughs> Unfortunately, the blaster wasn't always effective in taking down mutant criminals. However, the massive size made it ridiculously fun to watch whenever the rangers handled it. We're locked! Fire! <laughs> Number 3. Quadro Blaster – Power Rangers in Space With the Space Rangers' new powers, they also received new galactic-themed weaponry. Four of these new tools could combine into a futuristic energy rifle known as the Quadro Blaster. Quadro Blaster, online! All right, Eclipter, let's see what you're made of. The weapon is a powerhouse firearm that has undoubtedly gained a stellar reputation across the stars. By using the efforts of four rangers, a single enemy can be blown away in a brilliant flash of black and gold. But when one souped-up gun isn't enough, the four rangers can rely on Andros and his trusty spiral saber in booster mode for backup. Once both weapons are fired simultaneously, the forces of evil can pretty much add another loss to their overall record. Ready? A! Fire! Again! <laughs> Number 2. Power Blaster – Mighty Morphin Power Rangers New power punch will soon be cosmic dust! Yeah! We'll see about that, Antenna Head! Assemble Power Blast! Yeah! Great! This was the finishing move that started it all. Each one of the five original rangers was given their own respective power weapon. The individual battle items all perfectly fit together into one devastating tool against their enemies. When all the rangers teamed up to fire the power blaster, we knew it was almost time for the credits to roll. The formidable weapon often dealt the final blow in hard-fought battles. However, nothing good can last forever. They eventually had to upgrade to the heavy-duty power cannon, but the original blaster deserves a lot of credit for introducing fans to finishing weapons. Right. Now that's my idea of a joke with a serious punchline. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Z-Rex Blaster, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. This prehistoric themed weapon turned villains into future fossils. Nothing beats the Ruby Dragon! Ready! Aim! Fire! Claw Cannon, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Three rangers and three animal spirits equal one powerful firearm. Powered by animal spirits! Fire! Please hold! Oh no! 
Rescue Bird Unilaser, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. It's a bird, it's a laser, it's both. Let's do it! Zeo Cannon, Power Rangers Zeo, a massive and sleek blaster that can vaporize the machine's empire forces easily. Zeo on Power Cell, power up! Zeo Cannon, full charge, ready for action! Action! Playtime goes, Rocket! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. K9 Cannon, Power Rangers SPD RIC may have his glitches, but he's as loyal to SPD as any real dog would be. Once he was upgraded, he became an even bigger asset to the Rangers as the K9 Cannon. How cool is that? A K9 Cannon? I love it! Using a bone like key, RIC transforms into a high energy weapon. He's armed with enough power to instantly contain any criminal caught in his crosshairs. It takes the whole team to utilize this massive firearm. However, that's a light burden for something that ensures the bad guys are put away where they belong. More power, guys! We got it! Since a dependable ally turns into a necessity for the team to achieve their goals, the K9 Cannon serves as a great embodiment of Ranger teamwork. K9 Cannon! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.